morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Morris Day. Y'all remember Morris Day with Morris Day in the time, y'all? What? He is speaking out, y'all. Now, they're saying that attorneys for the Prince of State, y'all, sent a letter warning longtime collaborator Morris Day that he could not use the name of his brand the time in any form. Now they're mm. saying, yes, he can't use that name, y'all. Now they're saying, y'all, the back, um, yesterday in which Marvis, they accused the state, y'all, of trying to rewrite history. Now they're saying that Marvis was the lead singer for the Prince affiliated funk band the time. He claimed in a social media post yesterday that the Prince estate had told him that he could no longer use the name Marvis Day in the time. And he said mm. that he spent 40 years, y'all, of his life building the name and that Prince had no problem with him using it. Now they're saying that Prince is no longer with us. Suddenly, the people who control his multi-million dollar estate want to rewrite history by taking his name away from him, thus impacting how he fed his family, he said. He said, so as of now, per the Prince estate, I can no longer use Morris Day and, in the, time, and the time in any capacity. He can't even use Morris Day? Probably can't use that neither. None of that, y'all, honey. So, so it, that's, that, that's not his real name then, huh? Prince came up with that too or something? I don't know, but honey, they saying he can't uh, use it. He cannot use it. That's down. how we know him. That's yeah. crazy. Can he can he use Morris? No, nah, he might. I don't know. But they're saying is, that, is that a ruling or is that something that somebody filed? Um, evidently, you know, Prince and Morris Day fell out. If y'all watched the show Unsung oh, on yep, TV One, right, Prince and right. Morris Day fell out, baby. They didn't talk for years. Right. And Prince yeah. snatched the name allegedly from him because, you know, Prince allegedly gave him the name. But then um, he went back and um, gave him back the name or whatever. But now they're saying that the state said, uh-uh. You will not use it, but they're saying that no, they didn't say that. They said that Morris is coming up with this, y'all. But nevertheless, he said y'all never said that. So the state- he, use, he can use his real name, informally known as Morris Day from Morris Day in the time. Well, I don't think, could, I don't think they want to know. say none of that. I changed my name to Ooh, Ooh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Yeah, because Prince changed his name to Symbol, so you know, okay, to Symbol. But it said, could you imagine Ricky? Uh, they taking your name. You can't be Ricky Smiling no more, man. Man, oh my God. his birth name is money. definitely Morris E. Day. That is his birth name. Oh, well, then they can't do that. Then okay, no, it's the time, that. I believe, Gary, that, yeah, that he cannot add on to it. So he can do Morris Day. He can't okay. do the time because the time ban is what was owned by Prince's estate. Yeah. Yeah, well, whatever it is, honey. They Morris Day and the clock. <laughs> okay. Exactly, yeah. Ricky. Morris, that's it. Morris Day and the watch. And the yeah. TikTok. And, and the, the TikTok. Yeah. That's Morris Day and these nuts. <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord, help us today. Lord, help us. But it's sad, though, y'all. So we're going to follow that and see. Because uh, we love Morris Day and the time. And, you know, they, he's out, you know, back touring again or what have you. And can't use that name. So we're going to see. But, you know, that happened to a lot of people. A lot of singers. Mm. When groups split up and one person had the temptation. And the other ones have the temptation too, so it happens all the time, y'all. It's so, happened. You know. It happened with one twelve recently. Yeah, so you yep. know it, it, it's sad. Yep, though, it so. did. Mm-mm. Yep, only two situation. of them could say one twelve. The other two can't. Oh wow, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Yeah. My Lord, honey. So we're going to move on. All right, another celebrity news, y'all. Serena Williams is talking, y'all. She's saying that she and her husband, Mr. O'Heinick, y'all, she said, you know, they love each other. They're married, and they both have their own businesses. She said, but, honey, we do not. Put our businesses together, Chile, honey. I got my business, honey, that, you know, she's creating a business for small um, people, and he has his own. Because, you know, he was the creator of Reddick, and he sold that company back in the 90s with up for, like, $10 million, and he only paid a couple of thousands for it or what have you. But she's saying that they don't put their businesses together. But a lot of people saying that is wrong. They are a married couple. They should put all their money in one pot. And, you know, be together. And I know, Ricky, you and I are the only ones on the show that's not married, if I'm not mistaken. But And you once were married, though. But you think, y'all, that, I mean, a married couple should put their money together? <laughs> you slid that in. Uh, uh, should they put, I mean, it, it just depends. Like, if you sit up here, you done made millions and millions and millions. And then she ain't, you know, or, or, or vice versa or whatever. You ain't going to be adding nobody to your bank account like that. Huh? I mean, you'll give her something like, uh, uh, or, or she'll give him something like, if, if, like say for example, Oprah. If I got with Oprah, I, she ain't finna join bank accounts with me. <laughs> you would you wouldn't want her to, or you just saying she wouldn't because I she got more money. I won't want her to. I'm cool with my money. She keep her money. Right. Gary, I think it, it matters and it helps when you need it. So, like, if you and the, your partner together, your income could help to take care of the household, that's one thing. But if you don't need your partner's income to take care of things, then that's your income and that's his income. Very mm-hmm. simple. 
Mm. No, I think ours should be. It should be our money. You know, because they didn't uh-uh. they say when you get huh? I thought they say um when you join forces, Ricky, you are one. Yeah, okay, what happened when, with, with all them R and B singers that they did unsung on when their husbands took their money? Okay, <laughs> see, you forgot you be, and then the next day you're on the radio crying about that. How they Teach did Mel, the uh, uh, how they did Melba Moore, and how they did Mary J. Blige, and and all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Well, you got to pick a yeah. side, Gary. Well, they should learn from this historian, honey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but it's, it's interesting. I, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna argue. Uh-uh. But it's something. No, but I think. But uh, if we together, though, I think we should join forces and have our money together. But you need to come in. You're, equal. you're not coming in with no ten dollars. You're not financially 20. disciplined. You running up the name of Marcus buying stuff. Oh, all hell no. no. Going in there buying them expensive shirts. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. That, no, that ain't. That's not the budget we own. But what about the Bible, though, Rick? The Bible saying, "Honey, we uh, together as one." Okay, find the author. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus, honey. Let me the talk Bible to the author. God bless the child that's got his own. Let me talk to yeah. Paul. Yeah, but anyway, what she said that Serena did that, but I mean, her husband, honey, he has lots of money, and Serena has lots of money too, though. So you know, I guess yeah, they would just have to be, be splitting all that kind of stuff up, man. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's what happened in divorces. And you got to go through a lot of splitting, honey, and what have you. So, but uh, yeah, I guess. All right, the color today, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color today, y'all, is Sea of Tranquility. On the high end, you say Sea of Tranquility, and on the low end, you say Beautiful Light Blue.